I'm Claire. Um, I'm a second year medical student here at Rocky Vista, Southern Utah. I'm originally from Littleton, Colorado. What made me want to get into medicine is was mainly that medicine is like high stakes problem solving. Uh, it requires problem solving skills, but you're really using those skills to help save someone's life. So you have the added element of being able to help someone, which is everyone's stock answer for why they want to do medicine, but you get to solve problems all day long. So you get confronted with, it's like solving a mystery. You get confronted with a mystery on a regular basis and you get to solve that mystery, hopefully. And you get to use science to do that, which is great because most of us hopefully love science if we're in medicine. So I love science, I love problem solving, and I love helping people, and medicine is really the best way to go about doing all of those things. Challenges that I've faced as a woman in medicine have really always kind of stemmed from this classic idea that women can't ascend to as high a level as men can. So from the beginning, when I would tell people that I wanted to, to be a, med a, a doctor or I wanted to go to medical school, um, people would say, well, why not nursing? Um, and nursing is great. I have a lot of respect for nurses. I think they're incredible. Uh, but I wanted to be a doctor, specifically. And also something I noticed a lot is that a lot of older men, when I would tell them about I'm going to medical school, they would say, oh, to be a nurse? So there's this default, still, there's this default understanding, even in 2018, that women can't be on that higher level. Women are just default, oh, you're a nurse or you're a medical assistant or you're a PA, which again, I have a lot of respect for those fields, but there's this, still this understanding, this idea that women just, it doesn't make sense for women to be doctors. I think I want to see just more equality and I just want there to be, I don't want it to be a thing that women are in medicine. I just want it to be the norm that women are in medicine. I want women to be considered doctors as much as male doctors are considered doctors. You know, I don't want it to be, oh, you're a female doctor. I want it to just be that you're a doctor. I want to be treated equally. And with that, I want there to be an understanding that women can be doctors and they can be mothers and wives and all of those things if they want to be. There's still this idea, especially in the state of Utah, that women who become doctors also can't also have families and spouses unless they want to sacrifice some of their time as being a doctor. And I, for the future of women in medicine, I think we need to get rid of that completely. Um, I hope to bring to the medical profession my personality as much as possible. All of the best doctors that I've known, male or female, have been 100% themselves in their practice, and so that includes sense of humor, style of dress, de the way they decorate their office. Um, I think about that kind of stuff all the time about how I want to dress as a doctor and how I want to. Um, how I want to decorate my practice and things like that because I want it to be 100% me. I don't want my patients to feel like they're coming into this cold, lifeless environment to see a doctor. I want them to come and feel like they're coming into an extension of my home and an extension of me and just feel welcome there. The best part of being a woman in medicine is the other women in medicine. We're all this supportive team with each other. I don't feel this sense of competitiveness with most of the other women in this field. Certainly with my, my female classmates, I don't really feel that. And with other women who have established themselves as attending physicians and as residents, I think they're, they've just been so supportive and just so excited to see the future generation and to support us through our journey of becoming them and to, and to filling their shoes as time progresses. So I love this 
kind of sisterhood that we have in medicine as women. And I love the, the men that are supportive of us too, because they're kind of part of the sisterhood too.